I'm gonna pass the card around so you can completely yeah, sign it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good morning again. Uh, last night I was introducing myself to those who don't remember me. My name is George. Uh, welcome to Panama. I am your tour guide for today. And we're going. The first place we're going to visit will be Miraflores Locks to observe the operation of the Panama Canal. From there we will be going to Colonial Panama to see the second city of, of Panama. From there we will have a lunch and from there we will be going to the Afro Antillian Museum where you have a presentation. Any question you have about anything we're going to see during this tour, feel free to ask. I will answer the question. If I don't know the answer, I will invent it. You will never know, so. <laughs> so, you know, so you expect something on, on this tour. Again, welcome to Panama. Uh, you are in Panama City, Republic of Panama. We are in Central America. Panama is one of the narrowest country in the world. Panama do not have no army since the invasion of the country by the U.S. since 1989 when the U.S. took out of power General Noriega. Just, just one thing, I will always refer myself to the driver's side and to the door side. And the reason of that is because I don't know which is my left and which is my right hand. So, <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, to the door side. We are seeing the administration building. This building, up the hill, this building was inaugurated in 1914, one month before the inauguration of the Panama Canal. It's an E-shaped form. It's the office of the administrator, super administrator of the Panama Canal. And we are seeing the monument of Mr. Gotos. Gotos was the first Administrator of the Panama Canal. Grenada. Okay. Grenada. Grenada. Yes. 
Prenez. Okay. The author that we are seeing in the back was in old Panama. Like I was explaining back in the bus, during the destruction of old Panama from Captain Morgan, the monks uh, or the priests of those days, they decided to protect the altar, to paint it in black using uh, coal dust. Yeah, coal dust to protect the altar from the attack of the pirate. The altar really is not gold, it's a gold plated altar. Really, what is amazing, gold was the cross that is inside uh, the, the altar. Uh, cross and it can open that is when we are having the masses in the church and it's a, and this is an acting uh, church that did mass the masses in Panama start at six o'clock in the morning and we have another one at six o'clock in the evening yes. 85 percent of the Panamanians they are Roman Catholic and the rest are divided in, into Protestant Jewish and a Muslim, that is a big community also to in Panama. How about Anglicans? Anglicans? Anglicans, yes, but it's very, very small. Very, very, it's a very small, small group. The pillars in this church are original since the construction of this church, like I was saying, was in 1675. The church is in honor as of San Jose, Jesus' father. We also can say certain minor altars dedicated to uh, different saints, uh, and different, uh, also to different uh, pastors of the Roman Catholic Church. Well, where is the um, organ, organ here? No, they don't have no organ here. No more? No, no, more. Yeah. no more. No more. No. Organ is out. Oh. The pitfalls is a new introduction in the church. The stained art. art. Yes. The stained art was introduced after. Before, they never had a stain on And in around 1950, the masses that used to be about the preaching used to preach from there. That's the original preaching area of the church. The church was rebuilt in 1996 because the ceiling was coming down. So the, mostly of the refurbishing of the churches is going on now. Like I said, uh, before Panama gave back the canal and all of this flow of money that is entering from the Panama Canal, from each dollar of the Panama Canal, many of that money is going to education and to rebuild many of these things we are seeing in, in Panama, in this area. In black, yes. So, when they brought it here, they then removed it. And when they brought it here, they removed the, the black. They, they uh, clean it up. Yeah. And something that uh, nobody told me, you can see the church was built around the yes. altar. Yes. If you notice something, the altar will yeah. take it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, they're the main reason they bring it and they start the construction of the church around the altar. And all of so that, and all of this was done in 1675. Yeah. From old Panama. Yeah. This, uh, the construction of this altar is dated from around 1619, more or less. So, it will be half more than 500 years in a couple of years more. Mm -hmm. The what happened? This is a mixture of Spanish Baroque style. Yeah with a uh, native or native indigenous also in it. You can see it in the carbon yeah. um, pillars. Yeah. You can see the hand of the native partisan on it. So like I said before, it's not really gold, it's gold. Because the city of 
old Panama, the first city of old Panama, was in front of the ocean. Yeah. Just like this one, but this one is an, in a point. Yeah. Okay? We can have any more questions. You can take any photo you want. The only way you cannot take photos in this church is when we have masses. History. So that is what they used to talk here. And this was under the Jesuits that used to manage this entire uh, convent. The convent was destroyed by a big fire and was never renovated again. What they're trying to do? Trying to renovate it back again. Uh, I think the plan is to put a restaurant or uh, something like that inside this, this building. You know what? We're going around, we're going to La Plaza de la Independencia to see the Cathedral Church, that is the principal Catholic Church of the city of Panama. Okay? It's manufactured in the U.S. When Panama gained her independence, uh, from Colombia was a very bad conditioned city. Was dirt road, and when it started, bring everything get modern. Was the U.S. that sanitized the city of Panama, and those who put the cobblestone roads. So let, let me ask you another one. Yes. What is, what is the meaning of the word Panama? Panama means abundance. Abundance of butterfly, abundance of okay. fishes, abundance of birds, you can see them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, abundance of trees. Okay. All right. It means abundance. Let's go to the end and then we will be um, Colombia. We was only 100,000 Panamanians. And only 90,000 Panamanians was living in the capital. It was a very small uh, capital and a very small country in terms of population. The plaza, this is the Independence Plaza. The four statues are you going to see in this plaza is from the gestors of our independence from Colombia, the guys that have the train that make us independent from Colombia. The church, or the cathedral church we are seeing here, this church it took 100 years to be built. The construction of this church started in 1688 and it ended in 1796. The reason of that, because always there were no out of money. <laughs> the church, when, when they finished the construction of the church, you can notice simple but very important things. The face of the church is, is original, but the two bell towers are not. The reason of that, in 1882, there was an earthquake in Panama, and both of them fall down. But you can see the wooden statues, they are original since that time. But those represent Christ's 12 disciples. I think there are 12, but one is missing. The one that is missing is Judas. It has three doors, which means the three holy spirits. It has seven steps. Or the seven represents of the seven Catholic rites. So this is our principal church. The altar that we're going to see in the Western Church is a marble altar from 18 by the 1800s. The church is under a big renovation as well. The glass, huh? Also, you also take you to the uh, municipal palace. Over there. It's in a neoclassic style construction. And the Panama Canal Administration building by the French. After was the Panama Canal Administration building by the Americans. After was the Panama Communications Institute. And in this one, the stained art is also a posterior introduction in the church. What does that mean? It means that was placed after the construction of the church in the 1920s model. Before, there used to be uh, this wooden building It's an addition, yes. The stain out. The stain out, yes. The roof is not original, eh? No. It was wooden in those days, but, you know, Yes. I need to 
my lawn, you have to do exactly the same way on the construction and the outside. With the churches, you have to do it exactly the same way. There's no changes on the government approach this. In the dungeon, uh, after our independence from Colombia, in 1920, we built our first Supreme Court building. Mr. Pablo Rosemena was our first Supreme Court president. In the back, you can see the French Embassy. In the back, you can see the dungeon. Now there are not any more dungeons. Now there are uh, uh, and a restaurant. And Nine, uh, five of them now become the French Plaza with the statues of the initiators of the French Canal. Started with Count Ferdinand the builder of the Suez Canal. And if we go up a little bit, we will be seeing the entrance of the Panama Canal and the Biodiversity Museum and the Bridge of the Americas. Is that street art bridge over there? Built in 1962 and was the first bridge built over the Panama Canal. It cost $20 million dollars in the construction of that bridge. After, in the year 2003, when Panama arrived to 100 independence of Colombia, they built a new bridge. This new bridge cost $100,000 dollars. $100 million dollars in the construction of that bridge. We go up there and then we walk back to go to go back walking to our bus, okay? <laughs> have to wait their turn. Yeah. Every ship that enters these uh, waters, the actual time a vessel spending in Panamanian waters is 16 hours more or less. So as soon as the ship arrives here, a Panama Canal pilot board the boat, the boat loses name and get assigned a number. According to that number, then they started the transit through the Panama Canal. And that is one of the main requirements for a vessel to go through the Panama Canal. They have to pay in advance. Oh, just with that stuff. Mm -hmm. They have to pay in cash. Cash? Well, not really cash. Why is the money? Why is the money? Why is the money? Why is the money? You was correct. No, 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 no promissory uh, notes. A Panama <laughs> Canal pilot has to go on no. board. If oh. not, the ship cannot go through the Panama Canal. Okay. They have to go South down America, two Africa. weeks more yeah, right. and they will have to spend ten times more the money mm -hmm. they are saving to go through the Panama yeah. Canal. Okay, yeah. So they go they go through. <laughs> yeah, the museum over there is a design by Frank O'Gary. The color, the, color, the color building over there. Yeah. Frank Gehry is the builder of the Guggenheim Museum. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a donation to the government of uh, to the Republic of Panama, and the reason why Frank Gehry do that is because he is married to a Panamanian woman. Oh. <laughs> so that is a donation to the government of Panama. Do not ask me why it is because. <laughs> I don't understand what it is. It's one question that I cannot answer. No, 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 no,